So today we're gonna to do a 20 minute barbell complex workout. There's two sections to the workout. The first barbell complex has five exercises. You're gonna be doing 30 seconds on each exercise. There's no gap between exercises. We're just gonna link them nice and smoothly and then you can rest at the end. So holding a nice wide snatch grip, we're just gonna be doing a Romanian deadlift. So you've got a slight bend in the knee, but a fixed angle. You hinge, feel the hamstring stretch, keep the bar nice and close to your quads and shins, and then drive the hips towards the bar, coming back to the top position. We're gonna link this into a hang power snatch, and that'll start in five seconds. Starting with the bar just below knee level and a nice flat back, you want to drive the bar up in one smooth movement to the top. You might want to catch it at the top just by dropping under the bar slightly. You want to make sure your start position has a slight bend in the knee, shoulder blades pulled back, chest up nice and proud, and uh, try not to pull the bar too much with your upper body. Into the overhead squat now, you want a nice wide grip on the bar. Don't worry too much about how low you go, just try and keep the form nice and neat. So we don't want your tailbone collapsing under, you don't want the bar to be too far back behind your head, but you definitely don't want it out in front either. So just squat to your comfortable depth. With time, you'll get lower with this exercise. The next one we're gonna move on to will be a good morning. Bring the bar onto your back in a low bar back position. Pull your hips back until you feel a maximum hamstring stretch and then squeeze your glutes forward, bringing you back to the top position. You want to allow a slight bend in the knee, but try not to bend your legs too much and think about pulling your hips backwards rather than leaning the bar forwards. We're going to move on to reverse lunges next, alternating legs. Keeping the bar on the back, do alternating backward steps, dropping the knee as close to the floor as you can get, or even just gently touching the floor. Make sure the front leg knee isn't caving inwards towards the big toe. Keep your kneecap slightly externally rotated, ensuring there's no bad knee alignment. Keep your chest relatively upright, but try not to arch your lower back too much. Well done, that's the first round of this complex complete. We're going to do three rounds in total. So take a brief break and we're going to go for those next two rounds.
good job. Round two of three complete in this first section. There is a second section to this workout also where we're gonna do another three rounds. Well done, that's section one complete. We're moving on to section two now. And you should be able to increase the bar weight slightly. We're gonna do five new exercises in a new barbell complex. This time we're gonna be doing 40 seconds on each exercise. And again, there's no rest in between exercises. You're just gonna link one movement straight into the next. The first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a barbell back squat. your most comfortable squat width. Everyone has a different preference and there's not a right or wrong on this. It just depends on the shape of your hip and your individual flexibility. Uh, you should generally have a slight turnout of the feet and you definitely want the knees pushed out. And again, they shouldn't be collapsing towards the inside, towards the big toe. So keep your knees externally rotated out keep the upper back nice and tight and it should hold good alignment down your whole spine and if possible put the elbows underneath the bar keeping the chest relatively upright. Start with your elbows directly under or just in front of the bar, drop into a shallow squat and then drive with the legs pressing the bar up and overhead. Make sure you're not leaning back and overarching your lower back. You should keep a straight body alignment from your heel all the way up to your hands. The bar should finish just above the back of your head at the top position with a nice lockout of the elbows.
start with your hands hip width apart and your feet wide in a sumo stance. You want a fairly big turnout of the feet and you want your knees to match that turnout so they're pointing out to the sides. You should feel a little bit of an adductor stretch down the inside of the groin if you've got the right position. Make sure your back's flat before you lift off the floor for every rep. Squeeze your glutes at the top and hinge your hips back to put the bar back down. This one's great for shoulder and core stability. You're gonna have the bar overhead and go for an alternating march, aiming to get your knees above your hip height. So you've got a nice high march and keep that bar nice and stable overhead. This next exercise is called a pendley row. It works better with Olympic diameter plates. If you don't have those, feel free to swap this out for a more common barbell bent over row. So for the pendley row, you're gonna put the weight back on the floor briefly in between each rep. I like this because it stops the lower back from getting too tired. It acts more like a power pull than a consistent tension exercise, um, but I find I can put a little bit more weight on the bar without getting any back pain. If you don't have Olympic plates and you can't reach the floor, then just hover in the same position without putting the bar down. However, you might have to go slightly lighter on your barbell for these complexes if that's the case. Well done, that's round one of three done on this second barbell complex. If you need to adjust the weight up or down, make the most of this rest time to do it and get ready to go for that second round.
personally, I like to do a slight reset of my upper back position just before a pull on each rep. Just helps me to maintain better form throughout the set. Round two of three complete, get ready for the final round. Well done, that's the workout complete. I'd love to hear your feedback on how you found some of those exercises. This workout was a little more complex than some of my other barbell follow-alongs. How did you get on with the overhead squats and the barbell hang snatches especially? 
put in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit that like button, give it a thumbs up and check out my playlist. I've got a barbell playlist with just barbell workouts on there. So there's more for you to get involved with. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another video.